Welcome to Update 1.6, where hair cards generation is made easy. Due to some feature not available in previous Blender versions, it requires Blender 3.2 or above to work properly. There are a few ways to make hair cards. The first one is from particle hairs. When you select a mesh with particle hair systems, all visible hairs will be converted to hair cards. Depends on the situation, you may separate hairs into smaller parts instead of all at once. Up at the top, you can adjust children hair count on all visible particle hairs, since each of the strand will be a hair card strip. Also randomize the hair distribution. Click a button and hair cards are created. Switch to Material Preview to see the hair textures. Since each project will likely have unique hair textures set, this is only for preview purpose. UV Offset will display different hair texture density. It shifts the UV position from left to right. It's a very basic mask and normal texture setup, you can replace with your own textures to preview the result. Use color wheel to change hair color. Generally, the converted curve from particle hairs have many points. In edit mode, simplify curve will reduce the point on selected, making it easier to fine tune the shape. In object mode, the effect will apply to all splines. Keep in mind, this would not work well on complex spline shapes. Reset Tilt and Radius will reset selected points to default value. Embed Root adjust the hair root position with respect to the mesh surface. By default, created hair cards automatically align to the mesh surface. This saves a lot of time manually tweaking each curve. Width slider adjusts the width. Resolution length is distance based, lower the number, higher the density. When resolution width is above 3, a bend option appears. It adjusts the curvature in the middle. If the back face culling is on, the back side of mesh is not rendered which is usually the case for game engines. Turn on dual mesh will add another mesh facing the other side. Use the offset, rotate 1 and rotate 2 to adjust the shapes. Depends on the target platform, choose between double-sided material or higher mesh density for in-game hair cards. If you isolate the selected hair cards and have statistics turned on, you can see the mesh poly counts. Adjust the setting and click the mesh to update the stats. When hair cards generation is confirmed, depends on the UV offset, the final mesh will have UV layout in different position, and it is always offset from the 0 to 1 UV space. Although it can display properly, it is a reminder to manually adjust it in 0 to 1 space. If random flip UV is on, then some of the hair card's mesh will have UV flipped, giving the hair more random looks. As you can see here, some of the number are left to right, others are right to left. If transfer normal is on, it will transfer the surface mesh normal to the hair card's mesh. The surface mesh's density and smooth shading matters. This is from the low poly non smooth shading. This is from high poly smooth shading. And finally, the basic one. Depends on your project, turn them on or off. When converting hair particle, do remember to adjust the children hair counts. Otherwise at higher number, it may render Blender unresponsive. If the particle hair is short, the generated hair card's mesh would have some single edges. Simply select all, and clean the loose will get rid of them. 
For some hairstyles, when the hair stick out the normal direction, the result may not be ideal. Manually adjust the tilt may take a long time. In this case, I would turn off auto-align and tilt the splines. Another way to create hair cards is from curves. To start, it requires a surface mesh. The controls are the same as before. The last method to make hair cards is directly draw on mesh surface. There is a new control slider called surface offset. When you open a geometry node editor window, there is a float curve graph on the top left corner. It controls the overall shape above the surface. There is another float curve graph on the right which controls the general shape of the hair cards. Left side is the root direction and right side is the tip direction. That's it for this update. Thanks for watching and happy blending.